you guys today we are going to be reviewing the swagtron eb5 pro plus as of the year 2023 it's a really good budget bike um and we're also going to be reviewing the northwoods sonic which is also a good budget pedal bike um but it has a battery so it's electric too um it like assists you on the northwoods on this, you it can assist you, but it can also go on its own, and it has a battery bar um thing on this, and when you pull the throttle, which is right here, it's extremely fast. Um, I just got this two days ago. Um, uh, and according to the um, according to um some website um. The battery on its own, without pedaling, can go 8 miles. Actually, it actually is pretty good for me since, of course, I'm not going to be pedaling much on this because um, there are some pros and cons to this bike. The only con is that the um, pedals are far back and they're like scrunched up to the seat. Um, that's the only complaint that I have, or the only thing that I don't necessarily like, um, is the pedals are so close to the seat, because this is the back, this is where the motor's at that I use. I use these pedals as footrests. Um, I will have another video coming up of me riding this, um, currently, um, it is 10 days until Easter, so happy Easter everybody. Um, but it's also extremely hard to ride this sometimes because of how fast it goes. It, like, literally takes off whenever you ride it. Um, this is really, really cool. I love this bike, and it was definitely worth the price it costed. I'm not going to say it because it's kind of impolite to post a YouTube video and tell them how much money a bike costed. Um... So, but this I got at Dunham Sports. Um, it's pretty fun to ride and it's enjoyable because, um, I don't, I actually have a vehicle that can push me fast and it's not hard to ride. Um, and it's fun. Um, outside of my electric scooter, which I got like a year ago or something, like last summer was it? Um, so, now, um, we're on to the Northwoods Sonic. I know this is taking a while, but please just sit back and relax. We promise this will be a good review. Um, so, the, now to the Northwoods Sonic. This is, um, not quite as powerful as the Swagtron. I think I forgot to s Sorry, I forgot to mention it was a Swagtron. Um, so, that's the Swagtron finished up. Now time to move to the Northwoods Sonic. Um, this one isn't quite as powerful as the Swagtron. Um, and it only has a pedal assist mode. You can't ride it by itself with only the battery like you can with this bike. Um, on this bike, it's a little harder to ride. And you have this, like, pad... The only con, in my opinion, is um, you don't have a motor that can push you like this one, where this one can push you without pedaling at all. Um, on this bike, you have to pedal. There's no option of not pedaling. But outside of that, it's a pretty good budget bike, too. Um, I'm not going to say the price because, of course, it's impolite to just film a YouTube video and say how much a bike costed. Um, but I also got this one at Dunham's. So, it's just a pad, um, to control your speed, like, low, medium, and high. And this is battery charge. And this is the power button. And this is where you shift gears when you're pedaling you shift like speed three speed four speed five speed six um and speed one and two they're all in order as you can see but overall these are pretty good bikes for what they costed 
Um, we got a steal on these, but these are still really good bikes if you paid full price for them. They would still be worth the money. Um, and it's definitely, this one's a good way to exercise. This one, I mainly just ride it, um, alone without the pedals because the bikes are so close. Um, but that's the only con about it. This one is that there's no motor to push you. Um, but outside of that, they're both pretty much the same. They go around the same speed. This, at uh, max speed, not going downhill is 15.5 miles per hour. Um, is really good, and it has a bell. So make sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell. Um, so, these are really fun to each ride. They both have their individual, um, speeds and all that. They have unique designs. This one is more like a bike. This one, I'm not sure how to describe it, but I love it because it's unique and it's fun. Um, but this one is definitely good, too. Um, the, this one goes 17 miles an hour at the top speed at all. It's 17 miles an hour to 20 going downhill. And this one goes 20 downhill. And this one is max is 15.5. So they're pretty equal because I was able to keep up with my dad when we rode these together. I was able to keep up with him. And he was able to keep up with me. So they're pretty equal. We were normally just like side by side like this. Um, and we both love it, love these bikes, so this is an honest review on them, so please like, subscribe, and hit the bell again, um, it's really fun, um, making these videos, and I, um, kind of need a little help on my channel currently, um, so have a nice day, and I will sign off, goodbye. Now for the Northwood Sonic.